Hey everyone, welcome to Financial Friday. I want to welcome you to the tenth episode, and this is a uh, this is the last episode of a five part series. We've been talking about getting out of debt, and so on the first series series we talked about changing the way you think, changing the way you think about debt. On the second episode of this series, we talked about staying out of debt, how to stay out of debt, some practical ways to stay out of debt. Then on the third episode, we talked about cutting access to the debt, cutting access to the debt. Last week on the fourth episode, I talked about giving and the the importance of giving, setting that mindset, setting that attitude towards giving. Today, I'm going to talk about the last part of this series, this fifth part of this series, and this is episode 10, talking about developing a plan. Let me read you a scripture before we get started. Luke chapter 14, verse 28. This is Luke talk, or Jesus talking here in Luke, in Luke's gospel. It says, but, who, but don't begin to build until you count the cost. For who would begin construction of a building without first calculating the cost to see if there's enough money to finish it? So here's, here's Jesus giving an example of, you know, don't start something that you don't already have a plan for, that you don't already have a budget, a, a, a plan to where you're going to spend your money, to where that money's going to be allocated, because you need to have a plan. And so that's the number one thing that I think I can tell you about getting out of debt. And so we're going to talk about the nasty word, the B word, budget. <laughs> There's your plan for, for getting out of debt, budgeting. Now, Have I done this perfectly? No, not at all. Have I tried 100 times and failed 99 or 100 of them? Yes, I have. Here's the key is we have a plan. We try to stick to our plan. And when we get off track of our plan, then our number one goal is to get back on that plan. Because I know without a plan, without a focus, without a heading into a direction that I'm not ever going to, boy, that was bad English. I'm not going to get to my end goal if I don't have a plan. Jesus says right here in the, in the Gospel of Luke, who's going to build a building without having a, having a plan? Counting the cost, seeing how much it's going to cost. If I'm going out, here's a great example, and I, right now is a terrible time to use this example because uh, lumber costs are skyrocketing. But who's going to build a house right now saying, you know what, I'm just going to start building the house. When I run out of money, we'll just stop. No one's going to do that, or anybody, no one should do that in their right mind. No, somebody's going to take their plans, their ideas, their thoughts. They're going to take them to somebody that can create it on a blueprint. They're going to give them that, and the blue, the guy that does the blueprint, the drafter is going to draw it out, and he's going to put electrical outlets, plumbing, cabinets, bathrooms over here, bedrooms over here. He's going to make all these plans, and it's going to go off from there, from the blueprint person. It's going to go off to a project manager who's going to sit down and go, okay, here's my plans. If you want all this that's on this blueprint, it's going to cost you $150,000 to build this. And so they come back to you and they say, okay, if you want these plans exactly how they are, it's $150,000. And you say, okay, well, I've only got $125,000. And so the the project manager, then it's his job to say, okay, well, maybe if we scale back on some of the trim work, maybe we can, instead of doing six-inch baseboards, we can only do four-inch baseboards. That'll save you so much a board foot. If you multiply that times the house, so we might save you $5,000. So now we're at $145,000. Okay, maybe if we do some lower end uh, countertops instead of the instead of the marble ones that you wanted, maybe if we just scale back just a little bit. Let's do granite. Let's do you know some solid surface. Save you some money there. At the end of the day, they can get you down to where your budget is is one hundred twenty five thousand. Then you can build that house and finish that house and be happy and successful with what you did. But you can't do that unless you have a plan. Same thing with getting out of debt. If you don't have a plan. Here's another thought too, not just a plan, but you have to have a plan and a goal. You have to have a goal. You have to have a focus. You have to have a why statement. Why am I doing this? Because here's the here's the bottom line. If you don't have a goal, a focus, a why statement, you're never going to stick to a budget. Even making human mistakes, just being normal, if you don't have a goal, a plan, a why, you're not going to stick to your budget. There's no drive to keep you in your budget. So not only do you need a plan, you need a focused why of why am I doing this? Why do I want to get out of debt? One of of Laura and I's favorite statements that we'd love to make 
is we're getting out of debt. Now, Dave Ramsey would tell you, you need to live today so you can live tomorrow like no one else. Live today like no one else so you can live tomorrow like no one else. Laura and I's is very similar to that, but we want to do this so we can be free to travel. We can be free to, to host our grandkids at different events whenever we want to. We love to go on cruise ships, and so we want to be able to go on cruise ships whenever we feel like it, not when we find some special deal that we can barely afford and and we, you know, struggle getting down to Galveston. No, we might want to go down to Galveston for a week before we get on the cruise ship. Who knows? But we have a plan to spend time together, to travel, to spend time with family. And so that requires money. And so we want to be debt-free so we can do the things we want to do. We love animals. We love raising animals. And so we want to raise them debt-free because we want to enjoy them. Again, I've mentioned this in some of the earlier episodes. We don't want to be slave to the lender. We want to be free and clear that in the kingdom of God and have a plan so that we're free and clear in the kingdom of God and that we will have what God wants us to have. We'll operate in his kingdom, but we'll do it debt-free. So we have a plan to do that. We have a goal. We have a focus. We have a why to do that. And so we are accomplishing that with a plan, with a why, with a focus in Jesus' name. Hey, I encourage you today, have a plan. You know, there's no perfect budget. I can't tell you, hey, use this budget, use this budget, because everyone's different. Everyone's different. I met a gentleman the very first, early, early on, uh, when when Laura and I were first married, I met a gentleman. They were still doing the envelope system, you know, where you put cash in an envelope. And so when you go to the grocery store and you got 100 bucks in the envelope, then that's how many groceries you can buy because that's all the cash you have. You don't have credit cards. You don't have debit card. You just have that $100 in that envelope. And so when you get to the register and they start ringing stuff up, you're like, well, put that back, put that back. I won't have that Dr. Pepper, put that back. I knew a guy that did that. He did it successfully. Not everyone can do that. That's not everyone's budget. That worked for him and his family, but that's not everyone's budget. I know people that do them online. We use an online app from Dave Ramsey's, how we do our budget. We do it online on an on a, on a iPhone. So that's how it works for us. Some people do them on paper, Excel spreadsheet. It doesn't matter how you do it. Have a plan. Have a goal. Stay focused. Get out of debt. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me on Financial Friday. You can catch these episodes every Friday. They post on YouTube, uh, uh, Facebook. They post on anchor.fm. Catch these, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever you watch, you can get, get this episode. Just like and share. I appreciate you watching. Thank you and have a good day.